We have such bad symbols, I mean, we have really no great symbols now. And these, all that we have are these ridiculous nationalist symbols like flags and swastikas and whatnot. But there are no sort of great cosmic symbols. I mean, when you think of the staggering symbols that the Indians produced, I mean, the, the dancing Shiva, for example, we never produced anything as comprehensive as this. The dancing Shiva, those little bronze statues. It is the, the Shiva with four arms dancing with one foot raised. Uh, and, well, I mean, I go into the details, they're really quite extraordinary. It's, uh, the, the figure stands within a great circle, sort of halo, which has flames going out on the symbols of flames. And this is the, the circle of mass, energy, space, time. I mean, this is the material world. The great world of the all-embracing material world with its flames, with the energy. Within this, Shiva dances. He's called Natarata, the Lord of the Dance. And he dances. He's everywhere in the universe. I mean, this is, this is his dance. The, the manifestation of the world is called his Lila, his play. It's, uh, I mean, he sends his reign upon the just and the unjust and He's not a, he's beyond good and evil, of course. It's all an immense manifestation of play. Uh, his, uh, he has this long hair, which is the hair of the yogi, contemplative, and it streams out to the limits of the universe. You see, therefore, he, this sort of yogic knowledge of this contemplation includes everything. He has four arms. In the Upper right arm, he holds a little drum, which is the drum which summons things into creation. You beat upon this drum, things come into existence. In his left arm, he holds a fire, which is what destroys everything. He both creates and destroys. His uh, lower right hand is held up in this attitude, which means, be not afraid, in spite of everything, it is all right. The other hand points down at his feet, and one foot is planted squarely on the back of a repulsive dwarf, this infinitely powerful dwarf called Muyalaka, I think his name is, who is the, uh, the ego, and he has to break the back of the ego, you see. The, uh, what he's really pointing at is the other foot, which is raised, and this means this foot is raised against gravitation and is the symbol of um, spiritual contemplation. The whole thing is there, you see. I mean, the, the world of space and time and matter and energy, the world of um, creation and destruction, um, the world of psychology. I mean, how do you get out of this? I mean, if you don't break the back of the ego, you're lost. And if you don't... Uh, uh, practice um, contemplation, uh, there will be no liberation for you. I mean, it, it, we don't have anything remotely approaching such a comprehensive symbol, which is both cosmic and psychological and spiritual. I mean, it is really uh, most unfortunate that we have such miserable uh, symbols.